back, everybody, and welcome to the Downtown Podcast. We want to welcome our first guest tonight. It's founder and CEO of Fashion Feed Las Vegas Magazine that spotlights local business and trendsetters and helps the whole city embrace a more stylish lifestyle. You can flip through the March issue magazine now at Fashion Feed LV. Let's welcome Kat Troy. All right. Welcome, Kat. Hi. Welcome to the show. Have a seat. Well, thank you for coming on. Now, you just released your March issue, correct? Uh, last for Friday, March 6th. And it's a digital publication. It is for now. We are really trying hard to get it printed, but um, maybe in the next six months. But yeah, there's a lot in the issue. We did um, WWD Magic coverage, Fashion Week Las Vegas coverage. We did an editorial with Exile Boutique. Anybody shop oh, there? I love them. Actually, yeah. I love them. Right next to Cowtown Guitars, yeah. right? Yes. And then we published an editorial from um, K-N-Y-E-W, anybody? Kill, you, yeah. kill yourself. Or, no, that's, no, that's um, the other keeping one. New oh. York everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in it. We did an eight-page article about Stitch Factory and four of their new members. So you do so, a lot for the local community. Yeah, we love it. There's so much going on here. We have more than enough content to publish a monthly fashion magazine. I mean, I it's about time Las Vegas has their own fashion magazine. Right? It is about time. It, I think, yeah. And Las Vegas has been a huge fashion mecca for up-and-coming designers and fashionistas alike. And yep. speaking of, you're wearing a dress by who? Yeah, it's, um, okay, I'm gonna stand up real quick. Yes, please this, do, I'm this is really dress, cool. Like, I'm dying, this dress is amazing, I think. And it's not mine, I had to borrow it, but um, look, it says, yes. It's um, a girl that's a senior in high school now named Hu Lin Chen, and um, she won a competition last year called Fashion Forward, which is put on by the Junior League of Las Vegas. And um, their actual, um, this season competition, their final runway challenge is gonna be this Saturday at the Fashion Show Mall at 6.30, I mean at 2 p.m., I'm sorry, 2 p.m. So there's gonna be 60 um, contestants showing their final design. So this wasn't actually a winning design last year. The girl that won last year, Hulin, was able to make an entire line that they then sold at Artifact in Town Square. So it's open so, to the public, so yeah. audience members can go this Saturday yeah, and can, actually be a part of the runway show yeah. and watch it, right? You can buy tickets on the runway um, at the Junior League of Las Vegas website, or you can just go to the Fashion Show Mall and like lurk up on that second balcony and watch the whole thing. And, and it's, either way. Trey? it's all high schoolers, high yeah, school students and finalists. seniors. Yeah, and they've been working on this since, uh, I believe, like September. So they had to do an elimination round it was put on through the whole Clark County High School District. So there were like hundreds of girls that were in this competition. Super talented, I think freshman through senior. So yeah, we'll see the 60 final designs. We love what you do for the community. Yeah. And Thank you, you also keep us up to date on trends, fashion trends. And one of them you were talking about, you started a hashtag called Man Bun March, correct? Yes. And I'm really excited about this because I like, you know, man buns. And I like, the, I like when guys wear pants that are just like, you can kind of see it like tight, but not too tight. So I've been hashtagging this and really like butt pics. I'm sorry to let you down, but we're actually talking about the hairstyle. Uh, no, I knew it could go either way, but I was sure it was like fashion. Like That would be amazing too. So the hair, like where men put their hair in the bun. Yes, and I'm not the one that noticed it. My staff, which is sitting, some of my staff, it's sitting right here. My editor-in-chief, Steven. Yay. Yay. Um, and then my fashion editor, Asia. And then our stylist and makeup artist, Kat. Well, I was afraid it was going to go this direction. So, you know, I'm going to challenge you to guess that celebrity man bun. Oh, my God. It's right behind you. Oh God, okay. And if you guess wrong, you have to take a shot. But if you guess right, I'll take the shot for you. Okay. Okay? So let's start with the first one here. Okay. Bring it. Guess that man bun. Okay, um, that looks greasy. Um, it could be Russell Brand, maybe. Okay. Oh! Yes. Okay, yes. I guess that's me. Amazing. Cheers. Anybody can sip with me in the audience. That's fine. <laughs> if anybody here is wearing a Woo. man bun tonight, Stephen might cut it off just to <laughs> warn you. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. I hope you get this wrong. Bring it. Okay, that is obviously Jared Leto. Because oh, he wears yeah. it like that. Part yeah, that's like a low down. bun, a low man bun. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so handsome. Bring it on, I got this. I got this. All right. Oh. Okay, I have no okay, idea. Okay, please get this wrong. I don't know who that is. It's a bad man bun, though, that man. Oh. It's like a mini yeah, it's like bun. A, trying, okay. But okay. Okay, so show who it is. 
Oh, what? That's wrong. Oh, That's it's wrong. all you, girl. Oh, There's a baby bun. There's a baby bun. Like the baby bun, you can do this, yeah. Woo! Yeah, they're potent. I can't do it all. No, I know. Our bartenders here really pack a punch. Oh, my God. Okay, Focus. you have one more. Okay. Focus. Um, Who is that man bun? Maybe Brad Pitt. Scruffy. Is that your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. All right. No. Oh, in your face! Oh. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. In your face. Oh, that's Ooh. a bad man bun too. All right. Now we want to stay in style here at the podcast, yes. and uh, we just, you know, got one of our hosts. On trend. Yep. Yeah, we want to stay. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, would it be kosher for him to continue to wear this? Yeah, I think you should. You should shave your sides, though. Okay. And then, like, start doing yoga all the time and wear, like, flannel <laughs> shirts. Got it. Done. Okay. Yeah, Don't you're put a, willing on your resume. Okay. <laughs> got a lot of potential thank you. to rock the man bun. I'm impressed. Well, thank you so much for being such a good sport and hanging out with us. And we're going to keep following you and keep reading everything oh, fashion. And we're going to do exactly what you say, so be careful. OK, good. Yeah. <laughs> How can we find you on social media and just to read your digital magazine? Yes, um, fashionfeedlv.com, at fashionfeedlv and Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And then our link for the digital issue will be on all of our social media. So yeah, please follow us. We would love right to on, right have on. you hang out with us. Very cool. Check out the issue. Awesome. Woo. All right. Woo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, they were. I can.